This is the message from your angel to you. Someone is trying to communicate with you. They are literally thinking about you, trying to send something to the universe, and they are definitely calling out to you. In the past, this person was greatly affected by what others thought about how they led their life. But at this moment, this person is trying to listen to their intuition and follow their heart more than just following the rules. There is something about how they deal with divine things that has changed, they are evolving, and you are a part of that. This person is sending something to the universe. I'm not sure if they are very religious or not, but maybe they're praying because they want you to know how they feel. They are trying to get you to come to them. This is a dreamy kind of energy. They definitely want to manifest you back into their life. They want a fresh start in love, a second chance. This is an important message. They want to offer you this feeling, and they don't know exactly how they're going to do it or how to approach you and tell you how they feel. There is something mysterious about all of this. You might not even know that this person likes you. It's not just liking, there's a lot of love in this situation. This person has been dreaming about you. They are a dreamer. It's easier for them to fantasize about what they want with you than to take action. They're extremely cautious and in tune with their emotions. But for them, it has been easier to communicate with you online, send emails, and be at a distance from you. When it comes to actually taking action, they might lack self-confidence or feel that the timing isn't right. They've been fantasizing a lot about something. They want a new beginning in love. They want a second chance. This is an important message. They want to offer you this feeling. They don't know exactly how they're going to do it or how to approach you and tell you how they feel. There's something very mysterious about all of this. Maybe you don't even know that they like you, and it's not just liking you. There's a lot of love in this situation. They feel that if they don't communicate now, if they don't tell you how they feel now, they'll miss out on a truly transformative opportunity in life. They feel they've wasted enough time already, and this is something really special. They are realizing the importance of using their voice, letting go of old beliefs. For example, they were raised in a certain way, always loved in a certain way, and every relationship they've been in has been kind of the same. But now they want something new, and that new thing is you. You are completely different from what they've had before. It's a turning point in their life, and they're thinking, why have I been so slow? I should have said this a long time ago. In the past, they might have toyed with your feelings, but it wasn't intentional. They never stopped loving you. They left you behind because they had to move on, they were afraid of opening up, afraid of falling in love, afraid of committing. But now, they're changing their perspective. They're transformed. In the past, they were in relationships not to be alone. But now they feel separated from you, either physically or emotionally. There are a lot of things they haven't told you, and they regret that. There's something mysterious about all of this. Maybe you don't even know that this person likes you, and it's not just liking you. There's a lot of love in this situation. This person wants to offer you a new beginning in love, a second chance. This is an important message. They don't know exactly how they're going to do it or how to approach you and tell you how they feel. There's something very mysterious about all of this. They want to communicate with you through their voice, not just through writing. They want you to hear what they have to say because in their mind, they feel they've lost you completely. It was once a happy and even slightly passionate energy, but now there's a lot of sadness and pain associated with the situation. This person isn't getting over you, and they're afraid to take action. But as soon as they get out of their head regarding you, they'll realize that healing is possible, and they already know that the potential in this relationship is tremendous. 
They know that being with you and healing what happened could lead to a forever relationship. At the moment, they're not allowing themselves to dream that big. It's scary for them. They remember how they felt when they were with you, how attracted they were to you. They're dealing with anxiety, feeling that they don't deserve someone like you, and that's why they said things like you'd be better off without me. But now, they're ready. They've worked on themselves, their desires, and their relationship with what's in front of them. They're leaving the past behind, old beliefs behind. This is not serving them anymore. They want to show you better ways, leaving behind old beliefs about how they were raised and how society shaped them. This is no longer their truth. They want to tell you how they feel, and again, not in writing. They want you to hear their voice. There's something important about their voice, maybe they sing, play music, or are a poet. There's something about their voice that comforts you. It makes you feel good. Maybe they have an accent you like, and when they talk, it's different from when they write. There's something soothing about their voice, and they know that. They want to tell you that they still love you. They're going to try to reconnect with you. So don't give up if you feel the situation is worth your patience, time, and energy. If you still feel this person is important to you, this message is for you. If that's the case, write in the comments, I'm open to giving love a second chance. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.